See, here's what happens to us, and I was explaining it earlier. You know, as, as we, as again, as we go through life, we hear things, we're told things, we experience things, and all of those things have an amazing effect on us, right? Um, how many people remember the movie Twins, right, with Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? where Arnold Schwarzenegger was in this protective, I think he was on a protective island, right? They fed him steroids and lots of apples and stuff, right? Made him really big, no, just, right? He was in this whole positive environment, never heard anything negative, right? Where Danny DeVito was the exact opposite. He, he went through life hearing all kinds of negative stuff, and right, he had all the negative parts. But see, here's what happens. When, when those words come into our brain and we process them, See, something happens. We not only process them, we start to embrace them, whether we want to or not. And we start to build emotions around them. And see, what happens is those words create some form of fear. And because of that fear, we then will produce a layer around our, around our center, around our core, to protect us from somebody touching that fear. But then this layer requires that we put on another layer to protect us from reacting, or from letting somebody get close enough to affect that fear. Okay? Let me, let me try to give you an example to help make sense of this. Um, well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my own. See, I grew up, and, and again, and, and it was interesting, because as I'm reading this book, like, it's occurring to me, like, I'm analyzing myself and starting to study this, so the next time I give this talk, I'll have better information, okay? But I'm thinking through it live as I'm talking to you at the same time. Isn't that amazing? Okay. <laughs> here, here was my analysis of it. I grew up without a dad, okay? And for the longest time, I honestly, I, I could see areas where, I said, well, maybe it affected me there. But to be honest, I was like, man, never really, I don't think it really affected me. I didn't, I, I, he was gone when I was eight, you know, so. But in reading this book, I think I actually, I'm starting to understand a little bit deeper. See, because uh, there's something in us, uh, that's the wrong way. Because I, I'm assuming, okay, I'll have the answer next time. I'm assuming because I never really had that, I guess emotional acceptance from a from a male father figure from a right from a male figure that somewhere inside of me that created a fear of acceptance. Right? And it's actually interesting because as I went through life, actually I always got along with women easier than I did guys. Like I always made friends with women easier than I did with guys. And so that has to be involved in some of the process because because of that lack of acceptance, right, in my mind, somehow that created this fear. And so because I didn't have that acceptance, right, it started to manifest itself in the next layer. Okay, well, your layer, I believe, is created some, some part of based on your personality. So most of you know my personality, right? I'm choleric, right? I'm the... Uh, so... My protection, my first wave of protection was anger, right? And to then, uh, and then because my layer was anger, what would happen on my next layer would be my words. My words would try to protect me from getting angry. And then it went even deeper than that. Not only that, I actively looked for situations to be angry at. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Right? There, there would be issues, and, it, and I'm telling you, I, I know this is true because one of my friends that I hung out with had a great relationship with his dad, and me and one of my other friends never didn't, and like stuff would happen, and my friend that had a great relationship with his dad would always be like, what are you two getting so hijacked for? <laughs> right? Like he never saw it as an anger issue. Me and my friend were already in somebody's face. Is this making sense? Right? And it's interesting, as I was thinking through this, I bet if you dig in to most of the guys that had like an extreme aggression, like were mad all the time and angry, I bet you somewhere in their life there's a father issue. Either they never had one or it wasn't a good relationship, so that fear got established and then whatever kind of layer started to get built up around it. 
right? I'm convinced of it. Okay, I'm going to do some more digging in and study it. And it's the same with, it's the same with women. Right? It's the same with girls. I, I've, I, saw, I now see what happened to my sister. Right? I, I see those protective layers that she built up. And I guarantee it's because of the same thing. Okay? So, and, and here's why this affects, here's why this is so important. Here's the point of all this. See, if we're, if we're going to get really good with our words, with human relationships, somehow we have to understand this. Because the outer layer is what starts to affect how we interact. All these layers actually affect with how we interact with people. So if we don't understand those layers, or we don't start digging into those layers, by default, we're not having the effectiveness with other people that we can.